we are in Strezza. It's in the north of Italy, and I'm pretty sure we found one of our happy places. Right now, we're on one of the three islands that are within this lake, and it's called Fisherman's Island, is the easiest way we can remember it. And we're gonna go explore and take a look around. The first order of business is eating because we are starving. Menu looks pretty good here. We're trying to find something light. We had a long travel day and uh, we just need to get some lunch before it ends. All right, I'm gonna try to show you guys where we are right now. You can see Italy and our little uh, dot up there, the blue one is in the northwest. And it's in an area called Stressa and here's the island we're on. It's very small. If I zoom out a little bit, you'll start to see the other island and you realize we're on this lake. And the lake is called Lake Maggiore, I believe, and it's the second biggest lake in all of Italy. So the food showed up, we got a traditional margarita pizza since we are in Italy and everything. I got a glass of rose, how gorgeous it is, and Trevor got a beer. So the beer I ordered is a Costello, I believe I sat down, I didn't even uh, ask what they had. I just said, bring me some kind of easy drinking lager, please, and uh, that's what they did. Here we go, I'm gonna try this out. Good sign is it all stays together even when it's uh, droopy. Mm. The dough is on point. The tomato sauce is, is very, I'll say basic, meaning it's not very spicy. The cheese is good though. Let me try with the uh, chili oil. So it'll spice things up. Well, much, much better. I agree with pretty much everything Trevor said. Better with the uh, chili oil and even better with the view. So we just finished up. The place is called New Bar. I'm not sure if we said the name and it was, it was pretty good considering where we are. <laughs> and also not that expensive considering we're on a tiny little island. But can we talk about how incredibly beautiful this place is? We're on a little island in the middle of this massive lake. There's all these tiny little towns surrounding us and huge mountains. The Alps. We are surrounded by the Alps. It's just insane. The Alps are right over there. <laughs> Guys, our hotel is right over there. It's going to be actually be our next video, so definitely stay tuned for that. We can't wait to show you this amazing place in the next video, guys. It's so beautiful. Is it real? Could this be a new beginning? Ooh, my whole world falls apart with just a thought. So guys, the island is filled with tourists. It's pretty touristy, but right now we, he we are here at about 4.30. So it's starting to quiet down a little bit. When you first get off the ferry, you're gonna see all the vendors and the souvenirs, but you can easily get away from that and get to one of the other points and it quiets down. These alleys are exactly what you think of when you think of Italy. They're really small, very European, yellow, green, bells. It's very cute and very charming, and at this time, we actually kind of have it to ourselves. There's no one else around. Look at this. So as we said, there are three islands. The one over there is Isola Bella, and that's where we're going next. First though, I'm gonna see if we can give you a little better look at this island that we're on. We 
are on the other island now. It's just as beautiful. It's called Bella. And apparently there's some gardens here that are supposed to be maybe the most beautiful in all, all of Italy. So we'll show you guys where we just were now that we're on Bella. We didn't come all that far. <laughs> Check it out. There it is right over there. Isola Pescadores. It was like a two minute boat ride. Guys, we're in this palace now, and we do not have a lot of time. They told us to open the rope. So, rope is open. So guys, we're probably the last ones of the day to go through this palace. Look at this. Apparently this palace is currently owned by an Italian prince. I wish we had more time to show you, but it's really big. I think there's 25 rooms, but we're here for one thing only, and that is the gardens. Just wait until you see what is in front of me right now. Look how beautiful this is. I've never seen anything like it. Oh my. I just have to stop for a second and look at this. So we were told that the unicorn was the family symbol or something like that for, I think, the prince? Don't hold me to that. I don't know for sure. We were running out of the hotel and they kind of gave us that info. So what we'll do, we'll put the link down below so we can get the history behind this thing because it's, it's pretty neat. What an amazing place. I would have loved to have time to go to the third island as well, but that gives us a reason to come back. It's pretty cool that we can end it in the palace right now, because we are on the way to catch our boat out of here. That's why I felt a little rushed to get over here, to be completely honest. Yeah, right? we didn't have quite enough time. I say you need like four or five hours to really enjoy both yeah. islands. Yeah, so be aware, like the way the boats work, they seem to come in at like 30 minute increments. So you really got to be strategic at how you plan to get around the islands, but it's so worth it. Definitely come up north to this part of Italy if you have the chance. All right, guys, that's it. From Stressa, Italy, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. Guys, there's a peacock here. He's uh, well, he's a little bit, he's a little bit scary. He's white. I've never seen a white peacock before. <laughs> 